if you pay attention to the media reports, and I don't advise that, you would think that the gun talks taking place in Washington, D.C. right now are a colossal joke. Kabuki theater is how I heard one talking head describe the series of talks between the White House, the NRA, Walmart, and those proposing gun control. While it is true that the White House needs to make it appear as if they are listening to all sides, and the NRA attacks on any proposed gun legislation does bring in money in both donations and gun sales, oh, that's right. That's the irony of all this talk about getting guns off the streets. It actually puts more guns on the streets as gun sales are going through the roof ahead of any expected legislation. So while it is true that much of what you're seeing and hearing is an act, try to ignore all of that and pay attention to what you don't hear. Have you noticed that Vice President Joe Biden, who has been put in charge of the new gun law task force has stopped talking about banning military style semi-automatic weapons. The White House just doesn't have the votes in Congress. Sure, it'll still be proposed by Senator Dianne Feinstein, but it will be defeated. So instead, the White House is focusing its efforts on universal background checks. Right now, background checks are just required for commercial sales. Private sales, like the ones that take place at gun shows, don't require a background check. So believe it or not, it seems like a compromise has been worked out in Washington of all places, where nobody compromises. Look, this is not a solution to the madness that has taken the lives of the innocents in Newtown, Connecticut, and Aurora, Colorado, and other places, but it is a step in the right direction. Now I suggest we deal with mental health privacy laws because what good is a background check if there's no background to check?